Today we'll be factoring quadratic trinomials. So to begin with, let's look at the standard form of a quadratic trinomial. And that is ax squared plus bx plus c. So here we have two examples, m squared plus 3m minus 18 and 6x squared minus 30x plus 24. So we need to identify a, b, and c. So in our first example, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 18. And in our second example, a is equal to 6, b is equal to negative 30, and c is equal to 24. So up to this point, we've been taking two binomials and multiplying them together to get a trinomial. And when we did that, we noticed that we took the two numbers and they added to the middle term and multiplied to the last term. So what we'll be doing when we factor is we'll be looking at what numbers multiply to the last term and add to the middle term. And when we determine that, then we'll write our factors. So here's the factored form, n plus 4 times n minus 9. So the two factors are 4 and negative 9. 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. 4 plus negative 9 is a negative 5. So we're working backwards. Here's an example, number 2, k squared minus k minus 56. What two numbers multiply to negative 56 and add to negative 1? And those numbers are 7 and negative 8. So we'll be looking for the numbers that multiply to negative 56 and add to negative 1. Our third example, what two numbers multiply to 12 and give me 7? three and four. Multiply to 12 and give me seven when they add. And the last example, what numbers multiply to 35 and give me 12? Five and seven. So we'll be working backwards. We'll be given the numbers that they multiply and add to, and we need to determine these two numbers here so we can write the binomials, the factors of this trinomial.